Hello and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. So in this video we're going to be going over Link and how to use it. Let's take a look at the program we have here. So we have our class book. It has two properties, a title and a price. Okay. And then inside of our program class we have our books and we have four books. So we have the titles and the prices right here. All right. And then without using Link, we would just iterate through um, this um, list of books, or grab a book, and then if the title contains C sharp, then we would write this book title right here. All right, so now what if we would, were to actually use link? Well, link allows us to um, be very, very specific, and it saves a lot of code and a lot of logic. Um, it's really, um, really user friendly for the most part. So let's go ahead and jump in and we'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So we can say my new books equals my books. All right, nothing too crazy here. Now we wanna grab um, where the title contains C sharp. We, wanna, we want those books, all right? So it, it, a very clean extension method is dot where um, and of course, if you don't have this, press Option Command, and then you will be able to bring this up using System Link. All right. So where, and then here we can make a lambda. So we can use B for our um, variable, um, which will represent an individual book. And then in here we can say where um, B dot title equals or dot contains C sharp. All right, there we go. Now we can just make a for loop for each, excuse me, and say bar book in my new books console dot right line book dot title. All right. So now without, we can comment this out and run um, this uh, link query. All right, there we go. So we have all the titles now that contain C sharp. So um, what if we wanna get rid of this? We just, we want the title every time. So what we can actually do is we can then use the select extension method, B, of course, going back to this lambda, um, which represents the book. So now we're just selecting title. So if we take a look before we do this, all right, we hover over my new books. It's an I enumerable, um, and the type is book. But if we bring the select back in, we hover over it, it's an I enumerable string. So now it already knows to grab um, just it's just now a list of titles. So because we specifically selected each title from the book. So now this title doesn't actually exist. We can simply say book. And now if we run this again, there we go. So instead of doing title, we can also do price. So if the book contains C sharp, I wanna see how much the price is. All right, there we go. And these are the prices for all the books that contain um, C sharp in the title. All right, so now what if we want to actually order this? Well, we can simply say order by, and then here, of course, we can do the same thing. We want to order by the title. All right, so this will now put this in alphabetical order. So without doing the order by, let's see what we get. Oh, whoops, forgot to include the title again. Okay, let's see what we get. Let's see what order um, our books are in by default. So we have advanced, OOP, and C sharp. Okay, so now let's order these um, by, well, alphabetically. Okay, so now we're gonna do this order by again. So we'll include 
the title. So we're doing order by the title. And then we're going to print out the title. All right, there we go. So we see it now ordered by, um, well, ordered alphabetically. And then if we want to, we can just tack on, of course, another, we can do, oops. There we go. We can actually just run a select statement as well. So this is getting a little long. We can bring this down here. There we go. So we can say select um, b b dot title. All right. So we're using the lambda again. We can take this title off, and we can see. So if it contains C sharp, then we're going to order by alphabetically at least. All right. Um, and then of course, if you want to, you can do price as well, and take a look at um, the price. All right, there we go. So these are the prices of the books that are ordered alphabetically and contain C sharp. So this is very powerful. Um, using link is um, a great resource and it allows you to actually sort through lists significantly faster and easier. And there's just, there's so many different um, extension methods to go in here. Um, so definitely take a look at the documentation um, but this is essentially the, um, the basics of how to get started using link and to actually implement links, uh, excuse me, implement link in your applications. Um, I highly recommend using it. It is very, very simple and um, having all these nested loops can get, um, it, can, it can get pretty gross and pretty difficult to read. So I definitely recommend using link um, whenever possible. So thanks for watching this video. I hope this makes sense. If you'd like me to go in depth a little bit more with Link, let me know. Um, but I wanted to make sure that you guys understand how to use Link and how to get up and running with it, of course. So um, if you have any other questions, um, take a look at the documentation. Or if you'd like me to make another video um, about Link and go more in depth, definitely let me know in the comments below.